Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Great Beer Garage and my name is Matt. And today we're gonna to be working on moving our automated door from here to here. Um, reason unknown, but my wife wants it moved from here to here. I guess they're supposed to be off the ground. So we're gonna move it up to here. And we're gonna cut this section out and put the door here. We're gonna go ahead and get working on cutting this section out and then we'll move the door up to here, build a new ramp for them. And that's what we're gonna work on today here in our chicken run. Let's get to it. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna drill a hole up here in the corners and down here in the corners. And that way I know where I can start cutting out uh, to get that door fitted. So we're gonna go ahead and drill those out and I'll show you us cutting that out. All right, guys, so you can see here, I've got our corners drilled out. Now I can get my saws all, and I'll just go ahead and cut out the whole back here. And then we'll work on getting our automated door uh, put into that spot. So I can't, can't get the, the bit in or the saw blade in here for the saws all. So I'm cutting out larger holes here with the hole saw on the drill. And we'll just do that here i guess should be it and we'll just come across and go down with the sawzall What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? There's nobody in there, is there? No. steps on it all right so you can see now we got our our hole cut out i'm just going to take a quick measurement and i might need to cut like a piece of um plywood to just make that nice and flat and even all right guys so i actually cut this a little wider than i needed to so i'm gonna just staple or nail in boards again to kind of Tighten it back up to where we need it. And um, this board pulled off in the process, so I gotta hang this back up. So we'll get that rehung up. Okay. And then we need to get these. This bottom sealed up so nothing can crawl up in here. So I'm gonna cut a couple pieces of this to just go across and seal the bottom. And then I need to do two little strips here on each side. 
to mount the door because we're just just a little wide so all right so we're gonna go ahead and get to work on that Okay guys, so you can see, <clears throat> I just filled in here on the sides and the bottom. And then you see here, our door fits nice on here and the door will be able to operate up and down smoothly. So we'll go ahead and get this mounted up. Let me go get a level and then we'll get that mounted. Okay guys, so now you can see we got our door mounted. The opening is a little smaller than it was before, but I don't think they're gonna have a problem getting in there. So as you can see, goes down fine, nice and smooth. It's nice and level, which it was not level before. Shuts very nicely. And opens very nicely. So now we're trying to get the ladder out that's inside the coop or actually underneath the coop and I'm gonna disassemble this and then I'll drag the ladder out that way and then we'll put the ladder here so we'll go ahead and take this apart and we'll grab our ladder okay so we now have our door up we have the old entrance removed and I left a piece of wood down there for the girls and there's little bugs and termites in there and they are just going to town picking them out so We'll let them pick on that for a while. Then we'll go under and take you off of here. Oops, we'll go under here and get that ladder out. Yeah, I think this is a little. All right, so we have, we've gotten our ramp out that we had underneath the coop. And I've notched an angle in here. And I'm gonna just use that to lean right against here and we'll screw it right in through the boards. So we'll go ahead and get that done now. Hopefully we don't get any birds knocked out in the process. Because they're not getting out of the way. Because they do not want to move. Because they're infatuated with something right there. So, let's do it to it. You mean come hold it? Yeah, probably. You just don't want to hurt them. Move, Polly. I think right that should be good. So I just kind of hold it. Place. Hold it up. It's coming down. There we go. Right there. I think that's it. Not this other side. Come on. Get yourself in there. Oh, we're still looking at I don't think it's going to go anywhere. We 
got four four inch screws in here so yeah all right guys so now we got our new ramp on so they should be able to get in and out nice and easy we've relocated their ramp for rodent purposes so what this is going to allow us to do is completely seal up the inside because over here come on polly was there a trap door that they used to come in from so now we'll just close this off completely and um we should have them completely sealed at that point okay so now we have the old trap door sealed in we took all those little pieces that were out in here so that gave kind of clean the look up in here a little bit we have our door opening done we got our ladder on eventually we'll probably take this wire out but uh for now i think we're good and then as you saw we took took the front entrance the old entrance out and they're still digging in there so guys that's it so guys thanks again for joining us here on Graybeard garage if this is the kind of content that you like guys like to see go ahead and hit that like button for those of you that are subscribers thank you very much for being a subscriber it does help the channel out greatly as well as liking the video if you like that make sure you hit the like button as well um, if you're not a subscriber please consider doing so we get tons of views but we're not getting the likes to match and um, I have a lot of you guys come and check us out all the time but we're, you're not subscribed so subscribe and then you'll get updated every time we put out a new video guys thanks so much for checking us out here again on gray beard garage as always my name is matt and you can do anything if you put your mind to it we'll see you here next time